Hello everybody! First things first, I want to tell you that what you're about to see is a edited version of my first couple of games of this game. My first couple matches, I should say. So I'm going to show you that first, and then I'm going to get into my first impressions of this game and what I think of it so far. At the time of this recording, I've played about six matches or so, maybe seven, give or take. But I've come to a, an opinion that I'd like to share, so bear in mind you are still hearing the opinion of someone who hasn't played a shit ton. So these are just first impressions, but yeah, let's get right into it. I'm trying to figure out... Okay, this is PvP. Alright, whatever. We're just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to pretend to know what I'm doing. Um, I'm also not the greatest with the um, like mouse and keyboard and shit, but... Oh shit, okay. Alright. It reminds me a lot of Black Ops 2. healing oh i got i got shot yeah this game really oh my god this reminds me a lot of black ops 2 it i don't know it, it just feels good i'm not a pc player let me just make that very very clear right off the rip Ooh. All right. Okay, there was a lot going on. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so let's... What, what's the grenade? Is it G? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look, I'm not used to mouse and keyboard. I'm, I really, really wish this game was on console. Uh... Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend to be good. Uh, mouse and keyboard is not my forte. I'm not good with that shit. Okay, so hip fire is not that bad. I wonder how pistols are. Hey, we did it! <laughs> I don't really know what the game mode was. I knew it was capture that objective, but I don't know how it works exactly. <laughs> Come on! I'm, I'm gonna do some tactical stretches. What? <laughs> 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 tactical stretches. <laughs> oh, there was multiple. And also that glass is bulletproof. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, this, this this game gives me a Call of Duty feel, but it's like a better Call of Duty. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, th these are my first couple of games, and I'm kind of in that hype stage, so bear with me. But so far, based on just what I've seen so far, I like what I'm seeing. It's a free-to-play game, so if you've got a decent enough PC, you can run it. I'm running everything at fucking Ultra, and I haven't dipped below 60 at all. I could probably be going higher if my monitor was higher, but... <laughs> yeah, there he is. He's right there. <laughs> I did fucking horrible. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> what? First of all, I want to say that what I played so far is fantastic, but it does have some things that I am unsure of. And a part of that may be somewhat due to the fact that I am not a mouse and keyboard person. I cannot use mouse and keyboard nearly as effectively as I could a controller. I know some people would disagree, and that's fine, but for personal preference, I am simply a worse player without a controller. With that being said, I don't see the need to add controller support to this game unless the game were to get ported over to consoles, which leads into my next topic. I really, really, really want to see this game succeed based on what I've seen. 
This is basically a free-to-play Call of Duty with less insidious money-making schemes as COD in its current state. Also, I do think that this game has potential, but it is in beta, so I can already say it needs balancing. But this is not a full review, it is just an impressions video, and more of a thought dump for me. Let's actually start off with things I don't like. I'd rather start the negative first so that you understand what you're getting into with the negatives. But besides the mouse and keyboard thing, since that's just me personally, one thing I'm not so sure of, not, not sure that I like too much, I guess I should say, is the map layouts. Now, I haven't played every map, I've played a few, and they're not, not exactly too complicated or anything, but it feels like there are far too many ways to get around. And normally I'd say that's a good thing, but in this game it kind of feels like I get shot from every direction possible sometimes. Which makes dying somewhat more annoying, but at the same time, I understand that map knowledge is important to a game like this, but it still feels like a too many doors and no walls type of thing sometimes. It's just there's some areas of the maps that are way too exposed, and naturally there are maps always, maps always have things like that, but there's a lot of places like that in this game with these maps. I feel like the map design could be better, but it's not horrible by any means. The other thing is that it really does feel like a Call of Duty game, all the way down to the loadout customization. There's three skills that are just perks, a score streak system that doesn't ever reset on death, but everyone has immediate access to it, so it honestly isn't that bad, and the, the kill streaks, quote unquote, are not that bad either. There's a UAV, the, there's basically different ways you can do this. There's a tactical UAV setup, or not tactical UAV, sorry, tactical loadout, which is non-lethal kill streaks, and then there's a lethal kill streak loadout, and you have to pick one of the two, you can't do both. It's just not new or anything, is the point I'm trying to make. It's not bad, it's just not new. The weapons have attachments similar to Call of Duty, and in that sense, a lot of this stuff, honestly, is the same as COD. I list this as a bad thing because it could easily do all of these things, but maybe add a bit more depth to it uh, to give it its own identity. What they could do is not something I'm going to go into since I'm new to the game and can't really start making suggestions just yet. The microtransactions are where I'm going to start to transfer from bad to good here since this is kind of both and I know what you're thinking, microtransactions is good, what? Well, firstly it's bad because it's simple. Microtransactions suck and that's that. But the good thing is that, first of all, this game is free to play so this is how this company makes money off of this game. And secondly, the microtransactions can only get you cosmetic items, some of which you don't even need to spend real world money for anyway. So in this regard, they're fine by me, as long as it stays that way. And one thing I can say would be a bigger issue if it weren't for PC players being more accurate is this shit that me, a very bad, a very bad PC player, was able to do. I was effectively quick scoping, but because this is on PC, people can still out shoot me sometimes. That, and I'm not that good of a shot, I'm mostly just lucky sometimes. But if this were ported to console, the scope speed would need to be drastically reduced, or it would be like Modern Warfare 2 all over again, and everybody knows how quick scopey the game that game was. And if you don't, just go to YouTube and watch some old montages of quick scoping, it's fucking horrible. Or don't, actually, maybe not, those montages are fucking, but anyway, uh, now let's get on to what I consider to be good about this game, and the first thing is gonna be, is gonna kinda contradict one of the bad things, but it feels like Call of Duty, and I mean that in the way that the game plays, just by watching the gameplay, you can probably already tell what I mean, but being someone who was disappointed by the last few Call of Duty games, this game actually fulfills that role a little bit better, if you ask me, it just needs good support from the developers to make it a real gem. This game feels a lot, and I mean a lot, like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which was a fan favorite for many people. When I say it's bad because it's like COD, I mean that it feels very familiar in some of the bad ways too, such as kill cams not being accurate at all, occasional weird deaths that make zero sense, though it did seem less frequent in, than, than in COD, the death thing, not the kill cam thing, the kill cam thing's really wonky, but the death thing is less frequent than in COD, and... In my opinion, things like that are not that bad. The, the death, death thing, I hate that. When I die in ways that make no sense, I hate that shit. Kill cams, they don't bother me that much. I'm sure I could find more nitpicks if I look deep, but this is meant to be more of an overview of the game rather than an actual full-on review, especially since this game's still in beta. 
I like the weapon designs. They're nice looking. I like the way the guns feel and control, even if I'm bad at using them. I appreciate that I have a stamina bar and a health bar when I'm hit, so I know what level of life I'm at. And the time to kill. This is something that a lot of people are going to look at, especially for a Call of Duty player. The time to kill, especially, actually feels pretty nice. It's not too slow, but it's not too fast. Except when sniping, of course, which you can one-shot people, and you already, you already, <laughs> I already went into that one. So, aside from the negative side of quick scoping, I like the snipers. They have sway, but it's not so much that it's just bad, but it's not too little that requires my skill. I haven't gotten to use shotguns, so I'll stay quiet there. The pistols are a nice quick swap weapon, but I don't know if I'd try using them as a primary personally. Some people probably can. I cannot. I also like how many options there are for character customization, even though a decent chunk is kind of just reskins of the same template for the customization you can do. There are some unique ones I like. Overall, my opinion is this. If you like Call of Duty at all, just at all, and you've got a PC that can run this game, which by the way I need to I want to emphasize that I was running this game at max settings, 60 FPS while recording with OBS, and I had no frame dips whatsoever. So if my PC, well, I mean, I got a strong PC, so naturally I should be able to run this. But even a mid-range PC should be able to run this because I had zero problems running this game. But I say give it a try if you can. It's free to play, so you won't be losing anything if you decide you don't like it. I personally do like it, and I'm going to keep playing it for a little bit just to get more familiar with it. But even if it is on very familiar uh, ground for me, it's kind of what I wanted from Call of Duty, even though it's not even a Call of Duty game. It feels a lot like one. You can see that. You'll feel it too if you play it. It is, by and large, very much so, kind of a Call of Duty game, even though it's not. <laughs> I know that's the big comparison here, so I just need to make that clear. That's kind of what you're getting into. But that's my overall opinion of this game. So far, anyway, so that could change over time based on how much I play. But, it being a free game, I see absolutely no reason not to try it. So, there's that. If you guys like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you like the content that I'm putting out, please subscribe to my channel. And I do want to make a brief apology for not uploading for quite a while. I've been busy with real life and just a lot of things have kind of been going sideways to a certain degree. Nothing super serious, just, just stopping me from making videos. And I just simply haven't been in the mood to do this, so I apologize for that. But, if you guys do like the content, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye! <clears throat>